This is a day where we celebrate the accomplishments of our 48th graduating class. And I'd like to begin by recognizing and thanking all of the families, the friends, the loved ones, and of course, my heartfelt congratulations to you. And I would like to particularly recognize our new resources students for all of their hard work. Nearly 50 years ago, under a beautiful, bright blue California sky, just like the one today, on a barren 33-acre plot of land located at the base of Mount Baldy with just two buildings, a faculty of 11 and a staff of three, the first president of Pitzer College declared, our mandate is to change the universe. These were, <laughs> these were heady days spent planning a new liberal arts institution that would join its Claremont sisters. And the Pitzer College of today is a place without intellectual limitations or physical boundaries. It's a place where talented students like yourselves come to think, to work, and to dream. We are a place where creativity is socially conscious in spirit and entrepreneurial in practice. We encourage and expect you to become leaders here as well as in the world beyond. Commencement is one of those rites of passage that our culture embraces, like birthdays and christenings, quinceañeras and bat mitzvahs. This is one of those moments in life that seems not just natural but normative, something to be punctuated with flowers, congratulatory cards, applause, and a nice buffet. <laughs> Yet, as our honored guest, Dr. Angela Davis reminds us. <laughs> Change at its core is revolutionary. Commencement is a moment that doesn't just celebrate change. It invites, even demands, that you become agents of change. You are in the act of beginning, commencing, the rest of your lives. And I hope Pitzer has readied you for this grand new adventure. We have grown as an institution since our founding. That first year, we had just three students graduate. This year, we have 259, the largest class in our history. Here with us today are members of our Board of Trustees and our Board Chair alumna Robin Kramer. Robin majored in political studies and journalism. She was a student member of the Faculty Executive Committee, a resident assistant in Mead Hall, and a member of Claremont Students Against the War. In her post-Pitzer life, she has worked in the public, private, philanthropic, and nonprofit sectors of Los Angeles. She was the executive director of the Coro Foundation, senior director at the Broad Foundation, and served as the community, California Community Foundation's first senior fellow. She also served as chief of staff to both Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa and Mayor Richard Reardon, the first woman to serve in this post, not just once, but twice. She currently serves as senior advisor to the president of the Annenberg Foundation Trust at Sunnylands. I want to express my deepest appreciation to the Pitzer College staff members, in particular commencement coordinator Mickey Lee for their dedicated efforts today. Our commencement committee, groundskeepers, and staff from facilities, maintenance, custodial, housekeeping, our food service workers, and every office on campus that worked together to create this beautiful occasion. This year's graduating class elected Tessa Hicks-Peterson as the student marshal. Tessa, please rise. Our faculty marshal is Dan Siegel. 
Students also elect a member of the Pitzer staff to be their honored guest at commencement to thank them for their generosity of spirit and support. And this year, you chose Moya Carter, our Dean of Students and Director of Campus Life. This year, we have two faculty members who will be joining the ranks of our distinguished emeriti faculty, Professors Dana Ward and Tongela Masalela. While they were unable to attend today's ceremony, I know that you join me in thanking them for their many years of service and dedication to Pitzer College. This year, we have a distinguished dean who will be rejoining the ranks of the faculty. Dean Allen Jones, please rise. He is the longest serving dean in Pitzer's history and during his tenure, Dean Jones hired 54% of Pitzer's tenure track faculty, attended 3,544 standing committee meetings, <laughs> taught 13 classes, and read 2,082 student names at commencement, actually over 40% of Pitzer College's graduates. <laughs> In addition, under his leadership, the following programs were established. Pitzer's Vaccine Development Institute, the Firestone Center for Restoration Ecology, the Ruth and Lee Monroe Center for Social Inquiry, the Institute for Global and Local Action and Study, the Intercollegiate Neuroscience Program, the Intercollegiate Media Studies Program, Intercollegiate Environmental Analysis, Chicano Latino Transnational Studies, the Native American Pipeline Project, and Pitzer's first Arabic language faculty position. Thank you, Dean Jones, for all of your service. Seniors, Graduation is a time to recognize all that you have accomplished over the last several years. During your time here, you donated upwards of 100,000 hours annually to community service. You mentored and tutored hundreds of elementary and high school students in our local communities. You worked with women and children living at Prototypes' residential treatment facility. You help day laborers learn English at the Pomona Economic Opportunity Center. And you taught preschoolers how to read through Jump Start. When Newsweek called Pitzer a most service-minded school, they were talking about you. 70% of you studied abroad, traveling the world and learning 15 languages in 25 countries on six continents. And you not only trekked across the globe, you tended to our small corner of the earth, raising chickens and chard in our organic garden, founding the Rotten Orange Fermentation Club to teach others how to preserve food, helping turn more than 1,000 pounds of food waste into organic fertilizer each week, and loaning over 250 bikes each year through the Green Bike Program. In addition to your class and lab work, you participated in our system of self-governance. This plaza where we are gathered today is named after founding faculty member Stephen Glass, who once said that Pitzer doesn't so much shape its students as it molds itself around their actual aspirations. You have changed the college for the good during your time here. You spoke your minds at college council and in countless planning committees. Many of you designed your own majors. You ran the Echo Center, managed the Shakedown Cafe, and baked the best cookies in the universe at the Grove House. You are multilingual, multidimensional, and impossible to sum up with statistics. You double major in art and neuroscience. You play championship water polo and develop vaccines. You're a tutor at the Writing Center and an ace on the tennis court. Your accomplishments reflect your profusion of passions and talents. 
You were named an outstanding delegate at the Harvard Model United Nations. You meditated for 24 hours straight with your amplified heartbeat reverberating in a darkened room. You covered this very field with more than 8,000 flags to memorialize victims of the Holocaust. You worked at NATO headquarters in Brussels. You published poetry in an anthology of best undergraduate writers. And you have peddled, paddled, and repelled all over California, leading groups of new Pitzer students, showing them that belonging to our community is an adventure. You argued your points and defended your position so persuasively that the Claremont College's debate union is ranked ninth in the United States and 28th in the world. You tangoed so smoothly, the Claremont College's ballroom program is considered the best competitive program in the country. You joined Pitzer's many clubs, both sanctioned and not, and I'm talking about you, the Naked Bike Riding Club members. You know who you are and participated in intramural sports. As athletes, you are all American and awe inspiring. You led the women's water polo team to its fifth Skyac championship. And two of you will drive to San Diego to play in the semifinals of the NC2A championships this afternoon. You also helped Sage Hand Softball set a school record for wins in a season and relay teams, both in the pool and on the track. You set pr program records and recorded the fastest times in decades. You had the second most goals by a female soccer player in Skyac. And during your four years here, our Sage Hand Sports teams won 10 Skyac championships, including the men's water polo team's 11th Skyac championship. Our student athletes have been named to all American, all conference, and all academic teams. Students, you are an exceptionally talented class, winning numerous national awards and scholarships. You received more Teach for America fellowships than any other class in Pitzer's history. You earned two Watson fellowships to explore the world and a Udall scholarship for your commitment to the environment. You won Kemper scholarships, Mellon Foundation grants, and New York State Summer Writers Institute fellowships. You have received scholarships from the U.S. State Department and the National Society of Daughters of the American Revolution. You've won Gilman International and Enid Hall Griswold Memorial Scholarships for Fulbright Fellowships awarded to our students. Pitzer is ranked number one in the world among liberal arts colleges. And I'd like to recognize and thank all of the staff and faculty, in particular, Nigel Boyle and Sandy Hamilton for all of their support. <laughs> to the 20 students who have already been awarded Fulbright Fellowships, I wish you safe and happy travels to Argentina, Austria, Bangladesh, Brazil, the Czech Republic, Indonesia, Malaysia, Nepal, Poland, South Korea, Spain, and Thailand. But today is not a day to simply look back on all of your accomplishments. This moment of change, this graduation day, also marks the beginning of your revolution. Whatever that may be and wherever it may take you. Seniors, you have plans to begin your graduate work at Boston Conservancy, Boston University, the Freie Universität in Berlin, Harvard Divinity School, New York University, and the University of Edinburgh, and Western University of Health Sciences. You will also be embarking on your career with AmeriCorps. One of you will be a trekking guide an art director at Camp Charles Perlstein, an assistant with Dale Brothers Brewery. 
a consultant with Deloitte, a program director with Desert Sanctuary, a research assistant with Harvard Medical School's Children's Hospital, a journalist intern with KMOJ Radio, a field organizer with Organizing for America, a sustainability specialist intern with Quantum Energy Services and Technologies, a grape sampler intern with Stag Leap, Stag's Leap Wine Cellars, an assistant director of admissions at USC, a firefighter with the USDA Forest Service, and a professional baseball player in Australia. And now, two representatives from the senior class, please come to the stage. These are representatives from the 2012 Senior Class Gift Committee. Jose Barriga, our senior class representative, and Natalia Raton, class of 2012. They are the fundraising chairs, and they are here today to present the senior gift, as well as our very, very proud trophy. So, please come to the podium. Hello, President Trombley, Dr. Angela Davis, faculty and staff, dear family and friends, and the class of 2012. First and foremost, I would like to thank all of you for your help and support in helping us attain 98% participation we beat all the other five C's. <laughs> um, to our families and fellow classmates, thank you for helping us raise $15,000 towards the senior class scholarship, which we'll be offering to an incoming student of next year's freshman class. In reaching 98% participation, we were able to bring Ellen the pig back to its rightful home here at Pitzer and to be able to show our appreciation for our Pitzer education. And now, Natalia and I would like to present Ellen the pig to President Tromley. I'm just glad it wasn't a real one. <laughs> 